just kept getting more and more intense, you know? Every text, every time he sent me something, it was more. I want you to hold me. I want you to hold me down. I want you to hold me down and choke me. So you planned to get together? Yeah. But it was Kevin LaCroix that invited Taylor to the party. Kevin runs the deal. We're both captains, but, you know, he's the man. Kevin didn't know you were gay? No. Why did you two want to hook up at the party? Uh, it turned Taylor on to do it kind of public. Us getting off while everybody else is somewhere getting stupid. Kind of, kind of turned me on too. Did you drink? Uh, yeah, but I wasn't drunk. How long were you both alone in the room? 15, 20 minutes. It was consensual? He was the one coming after me. He was talking me through it. You know, do this to him, do that to him. And he was conscious the entire encounter? He was buzzing, but he knew what was going on. Did you provide him with alcohol? No. Did Kevin give him alcohol? I don't know. Did you offer him anything to enhance the sex to make it feel better? I didn't need to. He was into it. He just told me to hold him down, told me to choke him. And then he wants me to unload. As soon as I do, he starts freaking out. You know, he gets all sad and scared like some bitch who's sorry he got turned out. I don't need to hear that, so I was out. Um, and then later right, I hear he was pounding, sparking it up, acting stupid. I come back, he's pants down, ass up on the floor, puking on himself. Everybody else Snapchatting his ass. I felt bad for him, so I got him home. After he was incapacitated, you were with him? His girl was in the car the whole time. The whole time. And then the next day, like right the next day, he starts texting me like, oh, I want to see you, I want to talk. I didn't want anything to do with him. That's when he started popping off on how I raped him after I didn't want to give him anymore. So I didn't rape him, I did what he wanted. I'm sorry I ever went anywhere near him. You don't seem sorry. <laughs>